Fantastic. That was the fastest lap. So we'll be fronting the grid. Verstappen, Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be... Nelson Piquet once said that driving the circuit de Monaco was like riding a bicycle around your living room. And it's not hard to see what he means by that. There's no more prestigious a Grand Prix victory than Monaco, but also none so challenging. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1-mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race-ending barriers. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Vettel, Leclerc, Moore and Perez, Stroll, Ocon, Ricardo and Lando Norris, Albon, Bottas, Carlos Sainz and Grosjean, Russell, Gasly, Antonio Giovinazzi and Daniel Kvyat. Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. That's a strong start. Well done. to mix two, fuel to mix two. Strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now.
We're catching the car ahead, but be aware that these tires need to last till the end. Good finish. He stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. So, another fantastic victory for Red Bull today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Now, let's take a look at the driver's standings. Today's performance means Max Verstappen now owns the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? That's got to be the Flying Finn. Wait, how many Flying Fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.
fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You must be thrilled to be up on the podium. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Appreciate your time. <laughs>